Chapter 1491, Weang Clan, the Weang Clan, Duan Lingtian furrowed his brows involuntarily. When he was at the marketplace that day, he had detected someone following him, but that person had hidden well enough, so he could not pick him out at once. Later on, that person stopped following him, so he left the matter at the back of his mind. Who knew that someone would have come looking for him the minute after he arrived at the inn? Moreover, that someone was a steward of the Weang clan. Needless to say, Duan Lingtian knew it must be Weang Ruo's idea. As a fresh face around Han River City, how else would he get the attention of the Weang clan otherwise? Indeed, Duan Lingtian guessed correctly. After Weang Ruo had returned to the Weang clan, the first thing she did was to go to her father, the Weang clan leader and tell him about the accident inside the Joku Mountain Range. The Weang clan leader was enraged when he heard that his precious daughter had almost suffered such distress and wanted to the Yi clan to reprimand them immediately. However, Weang Ruo managed to stop him in time. Along with Weang Ruo's account of the incident, the clan leader of the Weang clan realized that the pressing matter was to find that young talent who had saved his daughter instead of getting even with the Yi clan. According to his daughter, that young talent was most probably from a seventh rated force or stronger. Therefore, he sent people all over Han River City to find that young talent once his daughter finished drawing a portrait of him. Weang Ruo was quite skilled at drawing. At least, with that portrait, the people from the Weang clan managed to find Duan Lingtian in the largest marketplace of Han River City and discover the inn he was staying in. Please. The Weang clan steward narrowed his eyes and extended the invitation to Duan Lingtian yet again whilst a glint flash in his eyes. What will you do if I reject you? Duan Lingtian glanced at the steward coolly and asked. Please don't make it hard for me, young master. The Weang clan steward added, don't you worry. You've saved the life of our young miss. No matter how bad our Weang clan is, we won't bite the hand that fed us. This invitation bears no ill will. Our clan leader merely wants to express his gratitude. Duan Lingtian stared intently at the Weang clan steward for a while and then nodded. Lead the way. He was not an overly cautious person. He was just trying to determine their intentions by asking the Weang clan steward such questions. On the way to the Weang clan, Duan Lingtian also learned that the steward was called Weang Ji. When Weang Ji asked for his name, he merely said that his surname was Duan. Young Master Duan, is this your first time in Han River City? Weang Ji asked. Why do you ask? I have reports from my man about your behavior at the marketplace, Weang Ji said with a smile. The person who followed me was under you. Duan Lingtian frowned. Yes. Weang Ji openly admitted, he's an intermediate Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator who's good at tracking people. He didn't think that you'd be able to discover him, young Master Duan. Before this, besides mortal shedding stage martial cultivators and Deo cultivators, in fact, none of the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivators and Deo cultivators who were followed had ever discovered him. As Weang Ji spoke, he sighed a little. No matter how good you think you are, there's always someone out there who's better. He's just never met them, Duan Lingtian said faintly. Yes, young Master Duan. You taught him a lesson today, Weang Ji said with a smile. Was it him who discovered the inn I'm staying at? asked Duan Lingtian. That was what he was most curious about. As Earth's strongest weapon specialist in his past life, he thought that he had an extraordinary tracking ability, but he could not figure out that someone had followed him back to his inn. The 99 saint veins in his body were open now, whether it was his hearing, his vision, or his sense of smell, all of those were far superior to an ordinary person's. As a result, his anti-tracking abilities were enhanced. However, he still did not discover that person. It was okay that he did not discover Huang Cheng and the black-clad man previously when he was on the way to Han River City. After all, one of them was a perfection Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator and the other was a paramount Saint Rudiment stage devil cultivator. Their cultivation bases were far superior to his. However, the person who had followed him back to the inn would definitely not be a perfection Saint Rudiment stage cultivator. In a family like the Weang clan, anyone above the perfection Saint Rudiment stage would undoubtedly be the pillar of the clan. They would be the clan's top management. It was impossible for those people to trail him. He stopped following you after you discovered him at the marketplace, young master Duan. Weang Ji nodded. After he came back and reported it, I personally come to follow you, young master Duan. Therefore, I appeared not long after you arrived at the inn. 
So, does that mean that you're a mastery Saint Rudiment stage cultivator? Duan Lingtian asked with narrowed eyes. Yes. Wang Ji nodded. Duan Lingtian's heart sank slightly at the fact that his anti-tracking abilities seemed to be useless when their cultivation base differed so much. However, he was relieved when he remembered that he was merely at the Paramount Mortal Shedding stage right then. How could he, on the Paramount Mortal Shedding stage, could be expected to discover the existence of someone above the Mastery Saint Rudiment stage? If he really could discover them, then they would have been very invaluable. Unconsciously, Du and Ling Tian followed Wiang Ji to the Wiang clan estate. As one of the eighth rated clans in Han River City, the Wiang clan estate was situated on the east side of the city on a vast land. It looked magnificent. While he followed Wiang Ji into the entrance of the Wiang clan estate, a dozen guards stood beside the entrance, bowing respectfully at Wiang Ji. Lord Ji, Lord Ji. The current Wiang Ji was no longer as accommodating and warm as he was when he had only been with Duan Ling Tian. He looked solemn and presented the dignity of being a steward. However, after entering the estate when they were alone again, he changed his demeanor and started to introduce the landscape along the way to Duan Ling Tian. The Wiang clan estate was huge, and it took a while for them to walk past the front yard. In the front yard, there were ponds, rock gardens, and walkways, very similar to the Imperial Garden of Duan Ling Tian's hometown, the Crimson Sky Kingdom. Certainly, even the Crimson Sky Kingdom's Imperial Garden was not as big as the front yard of the Wiang clan estate. At that time, the sun began to set and the sky darkened. It was almost night time. The Wiang clan estate started to light their lamps up all over the estate, bringing out the buildings in the front yard and making them seem majestic and magnificent. Young Master Duan, the building in front is the Wiang clan's main hall for meeting guests. The clan leader and young miss have been waiting for you there for quite some time, Wiang Ji glanced forward and said to Duan Ling Tian. Duan Ling Tian looked over after hearing that. In a glance, he saw that a palace-style building stood in front, surrounded by other buildings. Like stars twinkling around a bright moon, it stood out. Duan Ling Tian was brought outside the main hall and then Wiang Ji respectfully shouted, Clan leader, young master Duan is here. So, your surname is Duan. Almost at the same time as Wiang Ji finished his sentence, a figure which seemed familiar to Duan Ling Tian appeared in front of him. It was Wiang Ruo. Currently, Wiang Ruo was looking at Duan Ling Tian while smiling. What now? We meet again. Miss Wiang, the way you treated is not how one usually treats their savior. It's more like the way one treats their enemies, Duan Ling Tian commented pointedly. If I didn't do that, how could I have found you? Wiang Ruo's smile remained unchanged since she had guessed what Duan Ling Tian would say. She knew that he would highlight the fact that their Wiang clan had followed him. Ruo Er, why don't you ask your savior to enter? At that time, a loud and majestic voice rang out from inside the main hall. Just by listening to the voice, one would be able to tell that the person must have been holding a position of power for a long time. Duan Ling Tian did not have to guess that the voice belonged to the Wiang clan leader. Please come in, young master Duan. Wiang Ruo looked towards Duan Ling Tian and called out to him with a smile. Duan Ling Tian also did not try to be courteous and just strolled into the main hall of the Wiang clan. Wiang clan's main hall was elaborately decorated and seemed majestic. Once Duan Ling Tian entered the main hall, he saw the middle-aged man sitting in the middle of the main hall at first glance. The middle-aged man was bearded and built. He sat there majestically like the king of lions. It was the Wiang clan leader, Wiang Bie. Behind him, stood a young man who looked quite handsome and somewhat similar to Wiang Ruo. Duan Ling Tian could guess that he must be Wiang Ruo's eldest brother, the elder young master of the Wiang clan, Wiang Qing. It's said that a dragon would give birth to a dragon and a phoenix would give birth to a phoenix. Someone who looks as bearish as the Wiang clan leader actually gave birth to a pair of children who appear so delicate and pretty. That's rare. A thought crossed Duan Ling Tian's mind and he could not help but secretly pull a face. Currently, Duan Ling Tian could foresee that Wiang Ba's wife must be very pretty. Otherwise, how could such delicate and pretty children come about? If Wiang Ba's wife was not pretty, then there was only one other possibility both Wiang Qing and Wiang Ruo were not the children of Wiang Ba. Naturally, the possibility of that was very low. As the Wiang clan leader who was a tyrannical local strong force, how could he raise the children of others? Wiang clan leader. Duan Ling Tian cupped his hands and called out towards Wiang Ba as a greeting. I'm Wiang Ba, 
the clan leader of the Wiang clan. What's your name, little brother Duan? Wiang Ba said smilingly. He sounded kind and easygoing without putting on airs. My last name's Duan, Duan Lingtian responded calmly, still refusing to say his full name. His name must sound terrible thought Wiang Ruo to herself as she entered the main hall behind Duan Lingtian while looking at his back. Hmph. Just as Wiang Ba's face froze, Wiang Qing who stood behind him scowled. Who do you think you are? You're still reluctant to tell us your name when my father has asked for it. I'm really curious as to where are you from. How bloody uncouth. Whether I'll tell you my name or not depends on my mood. If you really want to compare our manners, as the eldest young master of the Wiang clan having treated me, your sister's savior, as such, how refined are you really? Duan Lingtian responded calmly. Chapter 1492, Gaslighting You, having heard Duan Lingtian's words, Wiang Qing was instantly flustered and exasperated but he could not rebut him. After all, Duan Lingtian was right. He had indeed saved his sister's life. At that crucial moment, Wiang Ba spoke, All right, Qing Er, little brother Duan is our guest and Rui our savior. Don't be rude now, little brother Duan, thank you for saving my daughter's life. Wiang Ba stood up and clasped his hands towards Duan Lingtian as a show of his gratitude. You're welcome, Wiang clan leader. It was nothing. Duan Lingtian shook his head and then added, Now that you've thanked me, I should go back if there's nothing else. I've got an appointment with my elder at the inn tonight. Elder? When they heard Duan Lingtian's words, Wiang Ba and Wiang Ruo looked at each other in the eye and saw the elation. No matter what happens, I must thank you, little brother Duan, for saving my daughter by inviting you to dinner tonight. As for your elder, he'll naturally be invited as well. Perhaps I could go with you to invite your elder, Wiang Ba said in earnest towards Duan Lingtian. Duan Lingtian made up a story about an elder to try and get away quickly. Who would have known that the Wiang clan leader would be so stubborn and would personally go with him to invite that elder to the Wiang clan? Wiang clan leader, I'm afraid that wouldn't work. My elder doesn't really like meeting outsiders, Duan Lingtian said while shaking his head. Doesn't like meeting outsiders. Wiang Qing scowled. How haughty of you, but I don't know if you're truly that capable or not. Noticing that Wiang Qing was deliberately speaking against him, not only was Duan Lingtian displeased. In fact, he happily took the opportunity, clasping his hands and turning to leave after declaring, Wiang clan leader, it seems that your son isn't very welcoming either. I shall take my leave now, little brother Duan, please stay. Wiang Ba became frustrated when he saw his reaction. His first thought when he heard that Duan Lingtian had an elder was to meet the latter and try to network with them. There was much to gain and nothing to lose for their Wiang clan. Please forgive my son who didn't know better. Once Wiang Ba finished saying that, he turned around and looked at Wiang Qing and shouted angrily, Disobedient child, get out of here. I shouldn't have let you come along. Wiang Qing was stunned when he heard Wiang Ba's angry voice and saw the scowl on his face. It was the first time seeing his father being so furious at him and it was because of an outsider. Instantly, he boiled with anger. Oof. Wiang Qing stomped angrily and glared at Duan Lingtian when he passed by him while leaving the main hall. Bye, Wiang clan leader. Duan Lingtian walked out without waiting for Wiang Ba's response. He would be dumb if he missed this perfect opportunity to leave. You're not allowed to leave. However, Duan Lingtian had forgotten about Wiang Ruo who managed to beat him to it and blocked his way. Miss Wiang, is this how you treat your savior? Duan Lingtian's face darkened slightly. If I had known that this would happen, I wouldn't have saved you back then. You. Wiang Ruo was so angry that her face was flushed. Duan Lingtian was not courteous with Wiang Ruo as he shifted and continued leaving after he avoided her. However, he was blocked again outside the main hall of the Wiang clan. This time, the person who blocked his way was the Wiang clan steward, Wiang Ji. Steward Ji, are you stopping me too? Duan Lingtian narrowed his eyes. They were sparkling with a cold glint. Young Master Duan, please don't make it hard for me, Wiang Ji said with a bitter smile. He would not dare to let him leave without the clan leader's permission. At that time, Wiang Ba spoke out, Steward Ji, let little brother Duan leave. Father. Wiang Ruo's face changed. She did not expect her father to let Duan Lingtian go so easily. She had made a concerted effort to draw a portrait of him and finally managed to find him. However, Wiang Ba ignored Wiang Ruo and looked toward Duan Lingtian. 
Little brother Duan, I'm sorry about what happened today. Tomorrow morning, I'll prepare some gifts and personally apologize to you. There's no need for that. Duan Lingtian responded faintly and left. After leaving the Wiang clan estate, Duan Lingtian felt lighter as if he was a bird which could fly in the boundless skies and a fish which could swim in the vast ocean. In the Wiang clan's main hall, Wiang Ruo looked at Wiang Bie with a frown as she asked, Father, how could you let him go just like that? In that situation earlier, what could I have done? Forcefully make him stay. Wiang Bie shook his head. I'm afraid that many people in Han River City would know that he's been to our Wiang clan. Setting aside those forces that have been watching, even the force behind him would know that he was here. Wiang Ruo kept silent after listening to Wiang Bie. Father, he must have quite the background. Should we let it go past us just like that? Wiang Ruo said, somewhat unresigned. Of course not. I shall prepare gifts and ask for his forgiveness tomorrow morning. I'll bring your brother along to apologize as well. Wiang Bie could not help but frown when he mentioned Wiang Ching. Ching Yiyar really disappointed me this time. Father, please don't blame brother. He was merely outraged on your behalf. I don't know why that Duan guy is being so mysterious that he wouldn't even let us know his name. Wiang Ruo pleaded for her brother, Wiang Ching, and then she looked sour again when she talked about Duan Lingtian. He has an indisposed impression of the Wiang clan. As the Wiang clan leader and one of the tyrannical local forces of Han River City, Wiang Bie was actually a good judge of character. Ruo Er, did you miss out anything in your narration? I feel that he seemed to be quite antagonistic towards you. Antagonistic towards me. Wiang Ruo was stunned. Even though she knew that Duan Lingtian seemed to dislike her, she never thought that he would antagonize her. Yes. Wiang Bie nodded. Was it because I asked you to forcefully bring him here? Is that why he was so antagonistic toward me? Wiang Ruo was puzzled. It shouldn't be that simple. I felt that his antagonism towards you didn't develop overnight. Wiang Bie shook his head. Think again. Did you miss out on anything? Just as Wiang Ruo was racking her brains, Wiang Qing watched Duan Lingtian walk out of the Wiang clan estate. Boy, my father and my sister said that you're from a seventh rated force. I'd like to see if you're lying. A faint sneer hung on the corner of Wiang Qing's mouth as he growled under his breath. At the same time, he went to the backyard of the Wiang clan and looked for an old, white-haired man. Grandpa Shan, there's someone plotting against us, the Wiang clan. In fact, he even lied and said that he was from a seventh-rated force. My father seemed to believe him, Wiang Qing reported to the old man in an anxious tone. Chapter 1493, Merciless Wiang Qing the old man with white hair whom Wiang Qing called Grandpa Shan was the second elder of the Wiang clan, Wiang Shan. Wiang Qing had grown up with him since he was young. The old man had always treated him as his grandson by blood. His love for Wiang Qing surpassed the love Wiang Qing's father, Wiang Bie, had for him. Wiang Bie had to give half of his love to Wiang Ruo while Wiang Shan poured all of his love to Wiang Qing. Qing Er, your father isn't reckless. Since he trusts the person, it means that the person's possibly someone from a seventh-rate force, Wiang Shan said with a smile while shaking his head. Grandpa Shan, you said possibly. Perhaps he isn't at all, Wiang Qing said. My father asked him to stay to throw him a feast, but he rejected. He said something about having a plan with an elder. I'm guessing it's just an excuse. Perhaps even Wiang Qing did not expect that the nonsense that he had spouted about Duan Lingtian to the old man as part of a verbal attack to happen to be true. Indeed, it was just Duan Lingtian's excuse. So, that means he left. Wiang Shen asked. Yes, Wiang Qing confirmed. If he's really coming for the Wiang clan for something that he desires, he shouldn't have rejected your father. So, there shouldn't be anything wrong with him. Just like the saying wisdom comes with age, Wiang Shan was very thorough when it came to this. Grandpa Shan, that might be true, but maybe he's just trying to play hard to get so that we'll fall for his trap. Wiang Qing panicked upon hearing Wiang Shan say that. If it were him, he really would not dare to plot anything secretly if he were alone. Moreover, he heard from his sister that the fellow, whose family name was Duan, was not someone to be underestimated. He had killed Yi Yin Sing from the Yi clan in one blow. His ability was slightly more powerful than Yi Tian Sing's. That's actually possible. Wang Qing nodded, deep in thought. Grandpa, all we'll have to do is to observe him at the inn that he's staying at to find out if there's something up with him. 
We'll find out everything by then. I'd like to see if he really has a plan with his elder or if he was lying. A cold gleam flashed through Wei Angqing's eyes as he plotted. Ching'er, you seem to have some kind of rivalry with him, eh? Wei Angshan sensed that something was wrong. He had watched Wei Angqing grow up, so it was only natural that he knew Wei Angqing's temper. My instincts telling me that he's really plotting something against our Wei Ang clan. Naturally, Wei Angqing knew that he had exposed his emotions before Wei Angshan, so he added immediately. We can't let anyone who plots against our Wiang clan to live. If he really lied today, there's no need for him to live in this world after tonight. Wiang Ching had a will to kill in his eyes as he spoke while his face seemed to be covered with a layer of frost. Grandpa Shan, follow me to watch him secretly. If his elder doesn't show up, it would mean that he lied. It would also show that he has impure intentions, so we'll have to get rid of him if necessary to avoid any trouble in the future. Wiang Ching made a slicing gesture across his neck fiercely as he spoke. Ching'er, even if he lied, it would only prove that he was unwilling to accept the clan leader's invitation. I don't think it means he's plotting against our Wiang clan, does it? Wiang Shen frowned. Moreover, it wouldn't prove that he's not from a seventh-rate force. There's a possibility that he rejected the clan leader's invitation even if he's from a seventh-rate force. Some people really don't like those kinds of events like large feasts. If we kill him out of nowhere, we'll definitely offend the force behind him. If he's really from a seventh-rate force, that would definitely be a disaster to us Wiang clan. Wiang Shan's face turned solemn as he spoke. Grandpa Shan, I've already thought about that. We don't have to use the entrance when we leave the clan, so our family won't know we left. Even if he's dead, nobody would know that it was done by people from our Wiang clan, Wiang Qing said. It was clear that he had planned this ahead. Wiang Qing spoke up again, seeing that Wiang Shan seemed to still be hesitant, Grandpa Shan, just like the saying kill the wrong ones rather than letting the right one go. The vibe that he gives me is dangerous. Such a person would definitely be a risk to us Wiang clan in the future as long as he lives. Seeing that Wiang Shan's frown eased a little after hearing what he said, Wiang Qing clenched his teeth and knelt on the ground in an instant. Ching Er, what are you doing? Get up, get up now. Wiang Shan stood up immediately and tried to help Wiang Qing up. However, Wiang Qing refused to budge. Grandpa Shan, please believe me this time. Do you want to see the Wiang clan being destroyed just like that? You said that you'd like to see me becoming the clan leader, but if the Wiang clan is destroyed, how could I be a clan leader? Wiang Qing was emotional as he said that. He cowed out so hard on the ground that his forehead split open. There was bright, fresh blood flowing out. At the same time, there was a fleeting flash of slyness in his eyes. Naturally, Wiang Shan did not see that as he held his head low. Even if he did not hold his head low, Wiang Shan might not have seen that. Ching Er, I'll promise you that. Seeing Wiang Qing's forehead bleeding, Wiang Shan felt like his heart was being ripped apart by a knife. He had always focused on Marshal Dao his entire life. Apart from the failed relationship that he had gone through when he was young, he had always been alone with no children. Wiang Qing's existence was like a beam of light that lit up his world of darkness. He was no longer alone since then as he had someone that was worth caring and loving for the rest of his life. For Wiang Qing, he was willing to do anything, including dying. Seeing the blood oozing out of Wiang Qing's forehead, he no longer had any doubt and agreed to him right away. However, he regretted at that moment. Naturally, he did not regret promising Wiang Qing. He regretted his hesitation. If he had promised Wiang Qing since the beginning, he would not have kowtowed so hard and his forehead would not have been bleeding. Thank you, Grandpa Shan, thank you. Although he knew that Wiang Shan would promise him, Wiang Qing thanked him pretentiously anyway. Grandpa Shan, I'll prepare two sets of black garbs and masks, Wiang Qing said to Wiang Shan and turned around, ready to leave as soon as he was done speaking. I have all the stuff that you mentioned. Wait for a while. I'll go get them. Wiang Shan stopped Wiang Qing. At the same time, he turned around and walked into his room. Duan, I'll forget about it if you really have your elder with you. If your elder doesn't show up, tonight will be the day you die. Wiang Qing had a ferocious gleam that flashed through his eyes as he thought to himself. He had heard about Duan Ling Tian from his sister. In reality, he was sure that Duan Ling Tian was from a seventh-rate force. The reason being, only a remarkable, Young man from a seventh-rate force might own a saint weapon with three-star saint inscriptions inscribed on it. According to Ruoer, 
The brat named Duan has a saint weapon in his hand with three star inscriptions inscribed on it. It doesn't seem like there's only one saint inscription on it. Wiang Qing was elated when he thought about this point. Naturally, the Wiang clan's safety was not the reason why he got Wiang Shan to help. It was just an excuse. His goal was to kill Duan Lingtian and take all of his belongings, including his saint weapon inscribed with three star saint inscriptions and the precious Dao talismans he had. To him, those were definitely huge fortunes that excited him. Although he was the young master of the Wiang clan, the Wiang clan was just an eighth-rate force. Given the fact that they were one of the best among the eighth-rate forces, they were still incomparable with a seventh-rate force. Just like in Han River City, their Wiang clan would have to survive under the wing of the Nine Sacks Alliance. The reason why they were under the Nine Sacks Alliance was that it was an alliance formed from nine seventh-rate forces. Any seventh-rate force had the ability to end their Wiang clan. In Han River City, besides their Wiang clan, even other eighth-rate forces were under the wing of the Nine Sacks Alliance. Although Duan Lingtian had saved his sister's life, he did not take that to heart. Saving his sister aside, even if Duan Lingtian saved his life, he would take away whatever he desired no matter what as long as there was something that he wanted from that person. Soon, Wiang Shan came out, having changed into a black garb. There were another black garb and two grimacing masks in his hand. It could cover a person's face completely without being recognized as soon as it was put on. Grandpa Shan, let's go. After changing into the black garb and putting on the mask, Wiang Qing looked at Wiang Shan impatiently while feeling excited. Naturally, Wiang Shan could not see the thrill on his face since it was covered by the mask. Hmm, Wiang Shan responded and lifted his arms before leaving his courtyard with Wiang Qing. They blended into the night. As the second elder of the Wiang clan, it was only natural that Wiang Shan's cultivation base to be so powerful. Along the way, the guards who were keeping watch around the Wiang clan did not notice Wiang Shan and Wiang Qing's whereabouts. It was easy for both of them to get to the remote corner of the Wiang clan's estate. They climbed over the wall and left the grounds. They disappeared at the end of a secluded alley in Han River City after leaving Wiang clan. Meanwhile, a conversation was happening at the meeting hall of the Wiang clan. Father, do you think? Is it because I asked him to surrender Elder Ping's spatial ring to me after he killed Yi Tian Sing and took it? Wiang Ruo was thinking hard and finally thought of something that could have possibly happened. But Elder Ping is from our Wiang clan, so it's fair to ask him to return Elder Ping's spatial ring to me. He's too petty if that's really why he rejected me, Wiang Ruo scoffed. Ruo Er, do you know that you've put me in a pickle? Wiang Ba forced a smile, finally knowing the reason. Elder Ping was killed by Yi Tian Sing. If he had not attacked, not only would Elder Ping's spatial ring become Yi Tian Sing's, but even your spatial ring would too. He killed Yi Tian Sing and saved you, so it's fair for him to keep Elder Ping's spatial ring. How could you ask him to give it back? Wiang Ba shook his head and sighed. Chapter 1494, Sun Body. In reality, Wiang Ba knew that he could not blame his daughter. His daughter hardly exposed herself out there. She had no idea how cruel the rules of the law of the jungle were in the real world. Father, why did you say the same thing as he did? Wiang Ruo frowned, remembering what Duan Lingtian had said when she asked him to return Elder Ping's spatial ring. It was almost the same as what her father had told her just now. Had she known that it was impossible for her father to have discussed this with Duan Lingtian before, she would suspect that both of them had conspired together. Ruo Er, this are the rules in the outside world. That was the explanation Wiang Ba could come up with. Some things could not be explained with words. They had to be understood through experience. All right, Ruo Er, it's over now. Don't overthink. Go and get your brother. I want to talk to him about asking little brother Duan to apologize, Wiang Ba said to Wiang Ruo. Father, brother will never agree to this. Bitterness revealed itself on her face. She knew her brother very well. His pride was so immense that it was terrifying. Him asking a person with whom he was at loggerheads with to apologize aside, it was impossible for him to even ask someone with whom he never had any conflict with to apologize. He'll have to agree even if he doesn't. I don't think he'll be able to revolt against my will. Wang Ba scoffed coldly and said in an overbearing manner, just get your brother here. Don't tell him about this. Let me tell him about it. I don't want him to run away from me if you tell him beforehand. Although Wiang Ba did not dare to say that he knew his son's character the best, he still knew him well. 
Yes, father. Wiang Ruo forced a smile and left the meeting hall to get her brother, Wiang Qing. Meanwhile, because Wiang Qing had left the Wiang clan's estate, naturally, she found nobody there. Knowing that her brother was not there and seemed to have left, Wiang Ruo was relieved. She went back to report to Wiang Bia at the same time. Father, I went to brother's compound to look for him, but he wasn't there. I asked the servants at his compound who told me that he didn't return. That brat must have been affected by my scolding and went out to look for entertainment, Wiang Bia condemned. Steward Ji, Wiang Bia called out loudly at the same time. Clan leader. At that moment, the old man, who stood outside the meeting hall, walked in. He was the steward of the Wiang clan, Wiang Ji. Send someone to bring that brat back? No matter what way you use, bring him back even if you have to tie him up. Wiang Bia ordered. Yes, clan leader. Wiang Ji retreated while forcing a smile. That was something that he was most reluctant to do. However, he did not dare to disobey since it was an order from the clan leader. Although Wiang Qing was a descendant of the clan leader, he was fearless of him since he was still immature. He was scared of the person behind Wiang Qing. That person was a powerful figure of the Wiang clan and was not someone that he, Wiang Ji, could offend. At that moment, Wiang Bie thought that Wiang Qing was out looking for entertainment. What he did not know was that his son was plotting against the young man in whom he was interested to become closer to and was suspected to come from a seventh-rate force. Little did he know that tonight might possibly be a disastrous turning point for his Wiang clan. Having left the Wiang clan and returning back to the inn, Duan Lingtian did not leave his room. If he were a coward, it would be natural for him to leave as far as he could from the Wiang clan's field of vision. He could not wait to enter the third level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda to cultivate as soon as he returned to the guest room. The flow of time and the perfect cultivation environment on the third level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda allowed his cultivation to skyrocket. If I calculate the time spent outside while I cultivated on the third level of this Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda, I suppose that the time I'll take to break through to the Paramount Mortal Shedding Stage would be shorter than time taken to break through from the Perfection Mortal Shedding Stage to the Paramount Mortal Shedding Stage, Duan Lingtian told himself confidently. Cultivating for five days on the third level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda was only equivalent to one day outside. It was totally incomparable with the second level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda at all. Moreover, the cultivation environment on the second level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda was far behind the third levels. If one were to compare the both, it was safe to say that the cultivation speed on the second level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda was less than half compared to that on the third level. I should be able to break through to the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage before I return to Half Moon Island. Of course, it would be better if I could break through to the Mastery Saint Rudiment stage. Duan Lingtian's mind became more active as he thought about this. What I need now is to cultivate diligently and try to elevate my cultivation base as soon as I can. With my current ability, I can still handle ordinary Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivators and Deo cultivators, but I'll be dead if I encounter someone really powerful. Duan Lingtian experienced a pressure that he had never felt before ever since he found out there were people above the Mastery Saint Rudiment stage who could avoid his anti-tracking ability easily. He was eager to elevate his cultivation base. However, there had to be a process in everything. He knew very well that he could not force things to happen. Still, he was eager and could not control his emotions at all. There are people watching you out there. To his surprise, a familiar voice came into Duan Lingtian's ears. It was like a rumble of thunder that woke him up. Elder Huo, are you awake? Duan Lingtian saw Elder Huo near him the moment he opened his eyes. MMM. Elder Huo nodded. Restoring the third level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda took a heavy toll on me, so it took me a while to recover completely. But I got some gains when I recovered and my ability seems to have elevated a little bit. Now that my divine consciousness has recovered so much, I can spread it out to cover a wider area. Although it has no attack ability, it's useful when it comes to detection, Elder Huo said. I picked up two people watching you outside the inn earlier. They come with ill intentions. Two people? Watching me, Duan Lingtian frowned. Could they be from the Wiang clan? I suppose that it could be them. What do they want from me exactly? I left behind a gust of sun force when I recovered this time. I'm going to release it into your body to refine your true energy. When your true energy is converted to the true origin of this world, 
You can turn the sun force into sun true origin, Elder Huo explained to Duan Ling Tian. True origin was the energy in the body of powerhouses above the saint stage. When one elevated from the saint rudiment stage to the saint stage, his true energy would transform into true origin. Sun force? Sun true origin. Duan Ling Tian's eyes lit up when he heard that. However, his eyebrows soon furrowed again. Elder Huo, maybe we'll do it another time. There are two fellas outside that I have to handle. The sun force is fading away by the second. Even I can't hold it for long. Moreover, with your current true energy, you'll only need one Shi Chen at the most to refine it. Elder Huo did not even wait for Duan Ling Tian to reply and he lifted his fingertip between Duan Ling Tian's eyebrows. At that moment, the only thing that Duan Ling Tian could feel was a scorching hot aura sweeping towards his face. It turned into an ebbing heat that flowed between his eyebrows into his chi si like it was a robbing pirate. The gust of heat was the entrance of the sun force. Soon, Duan Ling Tian noticed the true energy in his chi si was boiling. Duan Ling Tian felt dizzy at that moment before he lost consciousness right away. In his state of unconsciousness, the true energy in his chi si experienced a drastic change. The first thing that changed was his true energy that was boiling. It was expanding like it was going through a frenzy. Subsequently, a heat wave brought the heaven and earth spirit energy in the air into Duan Ling Tian's body through the 99 saint veins and rotated in circulatory cycles over and over again. The heat wave was extremely overbearing and seemed to have an engulfing characteristic. The heaven and earth spirit energy in the seven treasures exquisite pagoda were initially invisible. However, a big pile of liquid that pooled above Duan Ling Tian's head and did not stop growing. It was the materialization of the heaven and earth spirit energy. The metamorphosized heaven and earth spirit energy flowed into Duan Ling Tian's body continuously and rotated in a cycle with the gust of the heat flow. At the same time, every single pore on Duan Ling Tian's body was releasing black impurities. Naturally, there were not that many impurities. Duan Ling Tian's body had been reincarnated twice, so it was impossible that he had impurities as much as ordinary people did. At that moment, if someone powerful had been there, he could definitely tell that this three-legged golden crow was using the sun force to cleanse him through enlightenment, helping him to achieve a sun body. Every three-legged golden crow could only use enlightenment once in their life. It was overbearing and over the top. Elder Huo had transformed into his original form at the moment. He was now a three-legged golden crow whose body was covered in flames while overbearing heat waves were released all over his body. It caused the entire Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda to feel like it had fallen into a scorching hot baptism. Meanwhile, Duan Ling Tian, who had passed out, had no idea that all of this was happening. One Shi Chen was equivalent to two hours. Two hours later, Elder Huo finally turned back to his human form. His cheeks that were initially rosy were now gravely pale as if he had aged a few hundred years older. At that point, Duan Ling Tian slowly woke up. He felt a little lost at first, but soon, he came to completely after recalling what had happened for a while. He looked at his chi si immediately and was shocked as soon as he did that. This. Wait. What? Duan Ling Tian was stunned. He was completely flabbergasted. Disbelief was written all over his face as if he had just found out something unbelievable. Isn't this, the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage? Duan Ling Tian only snapped back to his senses a while later and mumbled to himself as he gulped hard. Chapter 1495, Two Masked Men Duan Ling Tian realized that the Qi Si in his body had turned into a small lake. It was completely different from his previous Qi Si which had just been a big pool at the most. From what he knew, even the Qi Si of early Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivators and Dao cultivators was just like a creek. Therefore, although he found it hard to believe, he knew that it was true that he had broken through to the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage the moment he looked into his Qi Si. Elder Huo, this. Duan Ling Tian looked at Elder Huo who was in front of him emotionally. He had too many things he wanted to ask, but he had no idea which to ask first. Ask whatever you want to later. Your priority should be handling the two people who are watching you, Elder Huo said to Duan Ling Tian and left to the first level of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda. Watching Elder Huo's pale face, although he was curious, Duan Ling Tian knew that today was not the best time for him to get his questions answered. Weang Clan Duan Ling Tian lifted the edge of his lips and revealed a smirk. However, he did not get out there right away. Instead, 
he began to test the true energy in his body on the third level of the seven treasures exquisite pagoda. The true energy in his body was like a majestic lake now, a large part of it swept out through the ninety-nine saint veins in the blink of an eye. Even if I encounter anyone on the paramount mortal shedding stage, their short-term explosive ability from their true energy consolidated weapon, true energy consolidated beast or true energy consolidated territory aren't going to defeat me. He was very confident about that. If his true energy were his car in his past life, his saint veins would have been the road in his past life. Meanwhile, he had more cars that could travel at the same time here. Naturally, Duan Lingtian knew that the ability of people on the Mastery Saint Rudiment stage would not be limited to the application of their true energy and saint veins. At the same time, one must consider the true energy consolidated weapon, true energy consolidated beast and true energy consolidated territory techniques. Duan Lingtian had witnessed all three techniques, the impact was powerful. But with my current ability, Mastery Mortal Shedding Stage Martial Cultivators and Deo Cultivators might not be able to defeat me even if they were to use a True Energy Consolidated Weapon. Although these cultivators who had mastered the True Energy Consolidated Weapon were powerful, there was a limit to it. With the techniques and things that he could rely on, people on the Mastery Mortal Shedding Stage might lose him unless they secretly had the ability to defeat someone whose cultivation base was higher than them. Naturally, he did not dare to claim to have the ability to defeat someone on the Perfection Mortal Shedding Stage. After all, Perfection Mortal Shedding Stage cultivators did not only master the True Energy Consolidated Technique, but they also mastered the True Energy Consolidated Beast Technique. After spending a couple of hours familiarizing with the True Energy in his body, Duan Lingtian then left the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda. My spiritual energy has been elevated following the elevation of my cultivation base. I can now inscribe two star saint inscriptions, Duan Lingtian thought to himself when he returned to the guest room in the inn. Soon, he walked out of the room and left the inn. Hmm, he's leaving. Meanwhile, two silhouettes covered in black garb and wearing grimacing mask walked out of the corner of the inn when Duan Lingtian left. It was midnight now and there was almost nobody on the streets. Grandpa Shan, let's follow him, said one of the masked men to the other through true energy voice transmission. The other man said nothing. He only nodded and followed the other person. There really are two of them. Meanwhile, Duan Lingtian, who had walked ahead, noticed the two people who followed far behind him although he did not turn around. Actually, he might not be able to see them even if he were to turn around now because the two men were walking secretively in the shadows with no street lights shining on them. Now that my cultivation base has broken through to the Saint Rudiment stage, with the spiritual secret tactic Divine Eye that Elder Huo imparted me with earlier, I can detect their cultivation base and age without them noticing at all. Duan Lingtian expanded his spiritual energy secretly as he thought and very soon, he detected their cultivation base. Saint Rudiment stage? How dare he follow me with such insignificant ability? Duan Lingtian could not help but scoff when he detected one of the men's cultivation base. Soon, Duan Lingtian noticed that something was not right. That's not right. This person's hiding it very well. I might not have noticed him if my cultivation base hadn't broken through to the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage. He either has some unique hiding technique or he has a powerhouse protecting him. At that moment, he began to detect the other person with his spiritual secret tactic Divine Eye. His heart was beating fast when he detected the person's cultivation base. Perfection. Perfection Saint Rudiment Stage. Duan Lingtian's heart sank. Even the steward of the Wiang clan, Wiang Ji, is only on the Mastery Saint Rudiment Stage. Someone on the Perfection Saint Rudiment Stage is rare even in the Wiang clan. He must be at least an elder. Wow, the Wiang clan's crazy to send an elder to watch me. At that moment, the only thing that Duan Lingtian felt was the raging fire that was rising in him. He did not plan to have any contact with the Wiang clan at all. Otherwise, he would not have rejected the clan leader of the Wiang clan, Wiang Ba's invitation today. Who would have thought that the Wiang clan would do one thing on the surface and another secretly? What do they want, sending someone secretly to trail me so late at night? Are they trying to kill me and take my fortune? Duan Lingtian suppressed the raging fire in him slightly after inhaling a deep breath. He came up with a plan after calming himself down. Eventually, he walked into an avenue in a flash. The avenue was the main road of Han River City. Thus, although it was late at night, there were still a couple of scattered silhouettes. 
Where exactly is he going? One of the masked men who followed him secretly seemed to be a little impatient as he spoke. We'll find out if we follow him. The other man, on the other hand, was very calm. However, his voice was old, so it was obvious that he was an elderly man. After following Duan Ling Tian for over half an hour, the weary masked man stopped walking and said as he watched Duan Ling Tian heading north towards Han River City. He sounded a little scared as he said, Hmm? He's going toward the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. Could this kid be one of them from the Nine Sect Alliance's? Grandpa Shan, they're still a distance away from the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. Perhaps he's just passing by, said the younger man, let's follow him. The other man hesitated for a moment, but he nodded eventually. He moved forward while guarding the other man. The older man was relieved when the target stopped heading north and turned into the street heading west. He was really worried that the person was a member of the Nine Sect Alliances. If he were to be from the Nine Sect Alliances, it would mean that he was from a seventh-rate sect. It would be fine if they killed such a person without exposing themselves. As soon as they exposed themselves, it would definitely be disastrous to their clan. I've told you that it's impossible for him to have anything to do with the Nine Sect Alliances, reassured the younger man. They're really following me. They might not dare to follow me if I proceeded north to the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. However, what the two stalkers did not know was that their target had only changed his route and headed west after noticing their hesitation. After going west, they arrived at a remote area. There was a heavy stench all over the place. It was where Han River City disposed all its trash. Apart from workers who were responsible for cleaning Han River City, there was hardly anyone else there. It was a vast place which occupied a mile. Soon, Duan Lingtian stopped when he arrived at the center of the remote land. He turned around at the same time. At that moment, the two masked men who followed behind him ducked behind a pile of trash. One of the men watched Duan Lingtian secretly from a distance. He thought to himself while a ferocious gleam flashed through his eyes, he's pretty alert. Tisk tisk, Duan Lingtian snickered mockingly while looking where the two masked men were hiding. You've been following me all the way. I guess it's time for both of you to show yourselves. I wonder what exactly do you want from me to have been following me for such a long time. If Duan Lingtian had not said both of you, the two men might have thought that he was just trying to be mysterious. After all, many people would say something like I see you or come out, stop hiding on purpose when they were concerned that somebody might follow them. In actual fact, they would have no idea if there was anybody following them at all. However, now that he said both of you, it proved that he really had noticed them following him. Pff, I can't believe that you found out about us. As the masked man with the older voice was stunned, the other young man walked out from behind the pile of trash. Covered by the grimacing mask, he could not help but frown. It was clear that he could not get used to the stench there. At that moment, the older masked man walked out after him since he had no other choice. However, he seemed grave. He was confident about his hiding technique. How could a mortal shedding stage martial cultivator notice him? At that moment, he spread out his spiritual energy as he focused his eyes while he performed his spiritual secret tactic in an instant. Duan Lingtian could feel a gush of spiritual energy sweeping towards him at that moment in an attempt to detect his cultivation base. Oof. Duan Lingtian scoffed softly, but he did not stop the man. He allowed the person to let his spiritual energy linger on his body and detect his cultivation base. With the spiritual secret tactic Divine Eye that Elder Huo had given him, there was a secret tactic that could be used to stop someone from using their spiritual energy for detection purposes. However, such a secret tactic could only be performed with spiritual energy above the saint stage. Therefore, he could not perform that at the moment. Intermediate Saint Rudiment Stage the masked man exclaimed softly and revealed his weary voice after detecting Duan Lingtian's cultivation base. Chapter 1496, Wiang Shen Struck. Intermediate Saint Rudiment Stage. Meanwhile, the other masked man with the young voice exclaimed out loud upon hearing what the older masked man said. At the same time, shock and disbelief were apparent in his eyes. His exclamation was completely different from his voice earlier. He had faked his voice earlier to be a little hoarse but now he did not fake it. We Ang Ching. Duan Lingtian recognized his voice and immediately found out who the masked man with the young voice was. He was the young master of the We Ang clan, We Ang Ching. We Ang Ching panicked when he realized that Duan Lingtian had found out who he was. He proceeded to speak whilst faking a hoarse voice, 
What we ang ching? I've no idea what you're talking about. Tisk tisk. You're the young master of the Weang clan, but you're such a coward? That's disappointing? In my opinion, such a scumbag like you doesn't deserve to be the descendant of the Weang clan leader. Even your sister, Weang Ruo, deserves the position more than you do. Duan Ling Tian shook his head while teasing. There was a mockery in his tone that he did not intend to hide. The young masked man was the young master of the Weang clan, Weang Ching, just like he said. Enraged at the moment, he took a step forward and was ready to tear Duan Ling Tian apart. Even if Duan Ling Tian really was a martial cultivator on the Saint Rudiment stage, it was impossible for him to defeat his grandpa Shan. His grandpa Shan was the second elder of the Weang clan whose cultivation base was on the perfection Saint Rudiment stage since a long time ago. He was just a step away from breaking through to the paramount Saint Rudiment stage. However, just when Weang Ching was about to say something after taking a step forward, he was stopped by the masked man with the old voice who followed behind him. The masked man was the second elder of the Weang clan, Weang Shan. It seems like you're a rival of the Weang clan, sir. Unfortunately, we're not from the Weang clan, Weang Shan said to Duan Ling Tian calmly while looking at him. I supposed you're the elder of the Weang clan judging from your cultivation base? I wonder if you're here following your Weang clan leader, Weang Ba's orders or are you just listening to this cowardly young master of the Weang clan, Weang Ching? Duan Ling Tian shifted his focus from Weang Shan to Weang Ching. You, naturally, Weang Ching could not take it and almost throw a fit when he heard Duan Ling Tian calling him a coward. However, he was interrupted by Weang Shan as soon as he spoke again, Sir, I've told you that we're not from the Weang clan. Weang Shan's tone sounded exasperated. Not from the Weang clan. Duan Ling Tian grinned. If the both of you aren't from the Weang clan, then tell me who are you. Pff, it's harmless to tell you since you're going to die soon. We're both from the Mountain Shade Black Market and we're here to take your life. As soon as Weang Shan was done speaking, two gushes of true energy rose from his body. One of them turned into a gigantic axe as it hovered in the air majestically like it could smash anything open. Meanwhile, the other one turned into a massive eagle like a falling cloud as it spread its wings open and covered the moonlight, causing the area that was already dim to be even darker. It was like a bottomless abyss whereby nothing could be seen. Suddenly, the giant axe and the massive eagle dashed to surround Duan Ling Tian. Including Weang Shan, they formed a triangle while trapping Duan Ling Tian in the middle. You can rest in peace since you're going to die in your chosen burial space here. Weang Shan spoke calmly as he glared at Duan Ling Tian like he was a dead man. However, Duan Ling Tian was thinking of something else when he heard what Weang Shan said. The Mountain Shade Black Market? Naturally, he had heard of the Mountain Shade Black Market. He knew that it was something big among the nine sect alliances. It was said that the Mountain Shade Black Market was a powerful and unique third-rate force in Dao Marshall Saint Land. Compared to the usual third-rate forces, it had its hands all over Dao Marshall Saint Land. They were even in the remote area of the nine sect alliances in Dao Marshall Saint Land. Naturally, the Mountain Shade Black Market in the nine sect alliances was just a small branch. However, back then, such a small branch had managed to threaten the Nine Sect Alliances into establishing the alliance which lasted until today. The Nine Sect Alliances revealed to the public that the reason they had established the alliance was to avoid the invasion of sixth-rate forces. In reality, it was established to defend the Mountain Shade Black Market. To them, the Mountain Shade Black Market was like a furious dragon which gave them immense pressure. They were grateful that the Mountain Shade Black Market did not do anything to them publicly throughout the years. However, the Mountain Shade Black Market ruled the underworld. The Mountain Shade Black Market was a unique force. No matter who you were, you could join the force as long as you as you had power. Meanwhile, people who joined the Mountain Shade Black Market would usually be able to gain great fortune within a short period of time. Naturally, many of them who died before making their fortune after joining the Mountain Shade Black Market. There were tens of thousands of businesses going on in the Mountain Shade Black Market. As long as you had saint stones and were willing to pay the price, there was nothing that the Mountain Shade Black Market could not do. The black-robed man, might be from the Mountain Shade Black Market. From what Weang Shen said, Duan Ling Tian recalled that the assassin who had attempted to kill him was most probably from the Mountain Shade Black Market. However, Duan Ling Tian knew that now was not the time for him to think about all that. 
Since when do people from the mountain shade black market have the habit of revealing their identity when they're on the job? Duan Lingtian smirked as he looked at Wang Shan. I've told you that it's something that I let you in on something since you're dying anyway, Wang Shan repeated calmly, now, I'll send you off. Almost as soon as Wang Shan was done speaking, the gigantic axe was brandished in the air. After charging its power, the gigantic axe charged at Duan Lingtian with a force like it was going to split Mount Hua into halves. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. There were explosion noises wherever the gigantic axe passed by while the terrifying force created a vacuum in the air. Fleeting ferocious rays were coming toward Duan Lingtian's head. Arrow light strike? Facing Wiang Shan's attack of the true energy consolidated weapon, Duan Lingtian, who was mentally prepared, pulled his bow and released an arrow across. The arrow flew as if it would pierce through anything. It was aiming for the gigantic axe that was coming for his head. Naturally, the arrow's speed was much slower compared to the falling gigantic axe. However, something unexpected happened when the two collided. The gigantic axe was pierced through and subsequently exploded in flames, disappearing completely. Penetration Saint Inscription? Explosive Flame Saint Inscription. At the same time, Wiang Shan could not help but exclaim out loud. It was clear that he could tell that there were saint inscriptions in Duan Lingtian's arrow. You're quite knowledgeable to be able to tell the saint inscriptions that I'm using, Duan Lingtian said while glancing at Wiang Shan faintly. Wiang Shan's eyes lit up. Now, he was almost sure that the purple-clad young man before him was definitely from a seventh-rate force. Penetration saint inscription? Explosive flame saint inscription. Wiang Qing's emotions were stirred after hearing Wiang Shen exclaim and Duan Lingtian's confirmation. He had earlier suspected that the saint weapon Duan Lingtian had might be inscribed with more than one three-star saint inscriptions. Never had he expected to have guessed it correctly. There was a second three-star saint inscription on Duan Lingtian's saint weapon. Just like the penetration saint inscription, the explosive flame saint inscription was also a three-star saint inscription. Grandpa Shan, kill him? He already suspects that we're from the Wiang clan. If we let him live, it would be a catastrophe to our clan. Wiang Qing urged Wiang Shan through true energy voice transmission while looking at him righteously. He only had one thought now he wanted Duan Lingtian dead. As long as he was dead, everything he owned would become Grandpa Shan's. In turn, his Grandpa Shan would naturally give him all of the belongings generously. Wiang Shan took a deep breath in. He knew very well that he only had one option left now. You've made a mistake if you think that you can defeat me with merely two three-star saint inscriptions, Wiang Shan announced coldly, the black garb on his body fluttering without the presence of the wind. Meanwhile, the gravel beneath his feet flew up and levitated as a result of the aura that was released from all over his body. He seemed like he was giving the gravel life at that moment. At the same time, Wiang Shan spread out a gush of true energy from his body which turned into a gigantic axe again. One could always consolidate and perform the true energy consolidated weapon technique as long as they had yet to exhaust their true energy. Wiang Shan could consolidate another one as soon as Duan Lingtian destroyed one. Compared to how he had attacked Duan Lingtian with the gigantic axe earlier, Wiang Shan did not hold back at all this time. Besides the gigantic axe hurtling at him, even the massive eagle that was formed by his true energy consolidated beast technique was flying towards Duan Lingtian while flapping its wings. On the other hand, he also darted towards Duan Lingtian at lightning speed with a saint weapon in the form of another gigantic axe in his hand. Although the gigantic saint axe in his hand had no three-star saint inscription, there were three two saint inscriptions on it, all of which he had activated. In order to kill Duan Lingtian, the intermediate saint rudiment stage martial cultivator, so that there would not be any trouble in the future, as a perfection saint rudiment stage martial cultivator, Wiang Shan attacked without holding back. He performed at his peak with a strength that seemed to be able to destroy everything. Die, go to hell. Everything you own will be mine after you die. Far away, clad in black and hidden beneath a grimacing mask, Wiang Qing was extremely agitated as he watched everything that was happening. He seemed to be able to see the saint weapon with the two three saint inscriptions in Duan Lingtian's hand waving at him. He could also see that all of the fortunes the remarkable, young Duan Lingtian owned would belong to him. Duan Lingtian's face became gravely serious as he faced Wang Shan who was coming at him at full force. Arrow light strike? He shot another arrow as he lifted his arms and it smashed into Wang Shan's gigantic axe once again. 
The massive eagle which Wang Shan formed with his true energy consolidated beast had come near him so quickly that he could not shoot another arrow. Now, even Wang Shan himself had arrived close to him. Chapter 1497, An Accident Out of the Plan It was a gravely critical situation for Duan Lingtian at the moment. He was surrounded by enemies in both the front and the back. During such a crucial moment, many thoughts flashed through his mind. Although my cultivation base has broken through to the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage, the pressure of fighting a perfection Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator is pretty high. Also, this old fella from the Wiang clan isn't an ordinary perfection Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator. Duan Lingtian's eyesight had improved significantly now that he had had a breakthrough in his cultivation base. It was easy for him to see that Wiang Shan who was attacking him was extraordinary. Meanwhile, it was not difficult for Duan Lingtian to figure the reason why Wiang Shan was so determined to kill him. He was concerned that he would go after the Wiang clan if he managed to live today. He believed that this old man had roughly guessed his identity upon recognizing the two saint inscriptions on his son shooting bow. That was the reason why the old man had a change in his mindset. He was determined to kill Duan Lingtian. Wiang clan would only be at peace if he was dead. You want me dead? I'm sorry that you will be disappointed. Today, you're the one who will be dead. Meanwhile, your Wiang clan's destined to pay the price of your doing. Duan Lingtian narrowed his sharp eyes and targeted Wiang Shan who appeared before him. He yelled out at the same time in a voice so explosive that it made Wiang Shan and Wiang Qing's ears ring. What utter nonsense. Wiang Qing snickered in mockery as he thought that Duan Lingtian was over his head. Did he really think that an intermediate Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator like him could defeat someone on the Perfection Saint Rudiment stage? Moreover, he was not just a powerhouse on the Perfection Saint Rudiment stage, but one who was close to breaking through to the Paramount Saint Rudiment stage. You're young and dumb. Wiang Shan sniggered coldly while dashing towards Duan Lingtian waving the gigantic axe in his hand. At the same time, apart from oppressive true energy, Three odd energy pulses surrounded the gigantic axe. It was clear that those were the three soaring two star saint inscriptions on the saint weapon in Wiang Shan's hand. Whoosh! At the same time, the massive eagle that was flying downward was just a stone's throw away from Duan Lingtian. The time seemed to freeze at that very second. In a flash, Duan Lingtian activated his strange pupil that he had charged beforehand to its peak while burning his spiritual energy without holding back. His strange pupil was targeting the massive eagle which was formed using the true energy consolidated beast technique by Wiang Shan and was coming at him. The massive eagle had been consolidated by Wiang Shan's true energy which could definitely suppress a mastery saint rudiment martial cultivator. One could imagine how powerful its strength was. Therefore, Duan Lingtian did not dare to underestimate the massive eagle ever since the beginning. The power of the massive eagle was even stronger than the gigantic axe Wiang Shan had condensed with the true energy consolidated weapon technique. Time was limited at the moment. Duan Lingtian did not have time to shoot his arrow again during this critical moment while Wiang Shan did not have the time to produce another gigantic axe. Die. Wiang Shan's pupils shrunk as he glared murderously at Duan Lingtian as if he was looking a dead person. To Wiang Shan, he could easily kill Duan Lingtian even without the gigantic axe. In fact, the gigantic axe solidified with true energy consolidated weapon was his weakest technique. Strange pupil? Spatial manipulation? Duan Lingtian used the most insane ability of his strange pupil just when the massive eagle was swooping down and coming at him. Perhaps the strange pupil that he had activated using his current spiritual energy could not affect a perfection Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator perfectly. However, it could easily affect the true energy consolidated beast from a perfection Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivator. Duan Lingtian deviated the eagle's direction with merely one glance and inched a few steps aside at the same time. At that second, the deviated eagle tore towards Wiang Shan who was attacking Duan Lingtian on the other side ferociously without stopping at all. He did not manage to react to everything that was happening in time. He would never have thought that the massive eagle would act out of his control suddenly and attack him instead. He barely even had the time to think about anything else. He shook the gigantic axe in his hand and made the massive eagle disappear like a piece of cake. The massive eagle had been consolidated by his true energy after all. A thought alone decelerated the eagle's speed before it was then smashed by Wiang Shan's assault. Although I've no idea which technique you used to affect my true energy consolidated beast, 
You won't escape death today even without it. Wiang Shan scowled at Duan Lingtian after smashing the eagle and advanced once again. Just when Wiang Shan attacked again, Duan Lingtian, who was prepared beforehand, lifted his arms and tossed a Deo Talisman at Wiang Shan. He shouted loudly at the same time to activate the Deo Talisman's force, appear. Do you really think that the insignificant force from the Deo Talisman could threaten me? Wiang Shan cackled when he saw Duan Lingtian's Deo Talisman. He did not even look at the Deo Talisman as he dashed at Duan Lingtian with the gigantic axe in his hand with destructive intentions. He was confident that he could crush the Deo Talisman's force like a piece of cake in a single blow. From the beginning until the end, Wiang Shan had never thought that Duan Lingtian would have a three-star offensive Deo Talisman with him because only two forces in the Nine Sect Alliances had three-star offensive Deo Talismans. Moreover, they usually would not distribute the Deo Talismans elsewhere, so it was scarce even in the black market. The two forces were one of the nine sects called the Profound Talisman Sect and the Mountain Shade Black Market. It was rare even for the younger generation in either force to own a three-star offensive Deo Talisman. As a result, he did not think that his luck would be so bad that he would encounter such a person. Die, die, far away, Wiang Qing, whose face was hidden under the grimacing mask, was excited. He seemed to be able to see all of the fortune belonging to him after Duan Lingtian died. Bang, however, as an earth-shattering thud exploded, Wiang Qing's face turned completely stiff. Fear that came from his core and soul burned in his eyes. What exactly happened that caused him to quake in fear? As the Deo Talisman exploded, the air far away seemed to be slightly distorted while majestic airwaves coming out of the rumbling impact rolled out in an overbearing manner. Apart from the gigantic saint axe that was flung away from his hand, Wiang Shan, who happened to be within the coverage of the Deo Talisman's force, was torn into pieces before he could even groan in devastation. The bloody chunks of flesh that were flying all over the place were smashed by the gushes of shockwaves that seemed to distort the space. Then, the flesh turned into a sky full of blood mist. A spatial ring was the only thing that was left. Wiang Shan was dead. He was killed before he could even react. He's just a perfection saint rudiment stage martial cultivator, but he dared ignore a three-star offensive Deo Talisman. Tisk tisk, seems like everyone in the Wiang clan are the same. They're so arrogant that they think they rank second after God, Duan Lingtian sighed in mock sympathy while deliberately shooting a glance at Wiang Qing who was far away. Apart from the little accident that happened in the end, everything that occurred earlier had been within his plan. Shooting an arrow at full force to smash Wiang Shan's true energy consolidated weapon, he then deviated the direction of the true energy consolidated beast's attack with the strange pupil's ability. Eventually, he killed Wiang Shan with the three-star offensive Deo Talisman. As soon as any three-star offensive Deo Talisman was activated, it would launch a full force attack on PAR with a paramount Saint Rudiment stage powerhouse. Even though Wiang Shan was the best of the best among the Perfection Saint Rudiment stage martial cultivators and was close to breaking through to the Paramount Saint Rudiment stage, he was still not on the Paramount Saint Rudiment stage after all. It was impossible to defend a Paramount Saint Rudiment stage's full force attack. Meanwhile, to Duan Lingtian, the last accident that happened was killing Wiang Shan directly. In his plan, Wiang Shan might have still been alive if he had defended himself against the Deo Talisman's full force attack. However, he would still have been badly injured even if he were not killed and become meat on Duan Lingtian's chopping board. Surprisingly, Wiang Shan was killed directly by the three-star offensive Deo Talisman that Duan Lingtian had tossed at him and he had ignored. Grandpa, Grandpa Shan, Wiang Qing was completely dumbstruck as he looked at the crimson ground under the bloody mist, looking lost. Had his grandpa Shan that he treated as the undefeatable god died just like that? Three-star offensive Deo Talisman, three-star offensive Deo Talisman. Who exactly is he? How is it possible that he has a three-star offensive Deo Talisman? At that moment, no matter how dumb Wiang Qing was, he knew that he was in trouble. Moreover, this was a tough rut. Even the entire Wiang clan behind him might not dare to offend this person. He snapped back to his senses after his heart jolted and he inhaled sharply. He knew very well that he would definitely die if he were to stay there. He wanted to escape as soon as the thought popped up in his head. However, he heard a cold voice coming behind him as soon as he turned around. Wiang Qing, stay here as I tell you to if you don't want to die. Hearing Duan Lingtian, Wiang Qing's face that was hidden under the grimacing mask turned stiff again. 
He did not dare to do anything, all he did was standing there obediently. Are, are you really not killing me? Wei Angqing asked while his voice was shaking. He did not speak in his disguised hoarse voice now because he knew it would be useless for him to pretend now. Duan Lingtian was the ruler of the situation now and he was the one who would be making the decision. What? Are you doubting what I said? Duan Lingtian smirked. No, I don't, I don't. Out of the blue, Wei Angqing recalled the scene whereby Wei Angshan was smashed into a sky full of blood mist by the three-star offensive Dao Talisman when he saw Duan Lingtian smirk. His heart jolted out of nowhere as fear rose in him. Duan Lingtian only walked to Wei Angqing after putting away Wei Angshan's spirit weapon gigantic axe and spatial ring. Remove your mask and revoke the ownership of your spatial ring. Then, hand it to me. Don't pull any tricks on me. You know what will happen to you after seeing what happened to that old fella. Duan Lingtian ordered while glaring at Wei Angqing coldly. Chapter 1498, Nine Sect Alliances Headquarter. No, no. The moment Wei Angqing heard Duan Lingtian's threat, he shook his head hastily. Right then, all of his high and mighty air had disappeared, unlike before. At that moment, he looked like a sparrow that had had the fright of its life. Taking off his grimacing mask, Wei Angqing's pale face was exposed right away. His eyes were completely filled with terror and they stayed that way for a long time. F for you. After removing the ownership claim on his spatial ring, Wei Angqing obediently handed it to Duan Lingtian very cooperatively. Of course, although he was cooperative, his heart was actually bleeding inside. At first, he thought that he would be able to obtain Duan Lingtian's spatial ring, but it had never crossed his mind that in the end, it was Duan Lingtian who managed to snatch his spatial ring away in a coercive manner. Apart from that, he had no way of rejecting at all. To be more precise, he did not dare to reject his request. The moment he recalled how his grandfather Shan, the almighty second elder of the Wiang clan had died, Wiang Qing could not summon any strength to defy him at all. Let's go. With a raise of his hand, Duan Lingtian grabbed Wiang Qing's elbow as tight as a metal claw and led him away from this dump site back to the junction earlier. Then, Duan Lingtian brought Wiang Qing with him to the north. ARU from the Nine Sect Alliances. Realizing that Duan Lingtian was bringing him to the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters, Wei Angqing's voice started to tremble in sheer terror. Weren't you very arrogant today when I went to the Wei Ang clan? Why have you suddenly become a coward now? I'm really not used to this, Duan Lingtian cast a nonchalant glance at Wei Angqing and remarked. With just a casual remark, Wei Angqing's face turned entirely red, yet he had nothing to refute at all. After a while, he finally asked in a quivering voice, W what do you want to do? What do you want to do to me? Why you told me that you aren't going to kill me, so you can't just go back on your word. Wei Angqing completely panicked. Even though he realized that Duan Lingtian's background must be very terrifying the moment he learned that he had used a three-star offensive Dao talisman to kill Wei Angshan, it was only an assumption and might not be true. Perhaps, Duan Lingtian had encountered some fortuitous meeting and obtained treasure left behind by a powerhouse. Possibly, he had obtained the three-star Dao talisman from that treasure. However, now that he realized that Duan Lingtian might turn out to be from the Nine Sect Alliances, the sense of luck that he felt in his heart earlier completely dissipated. He was very clear that if he were from the Nine Sect Alliances, the Wiang clan would not dare to utter a squeak at all even if Duan Lingtian killed him. Duan Lingtian killing him would be just like killing a chicken, he had no need to fear anything at all. When he realized that his life was in Duan Lingtian's hands, Wei Angqing was mortified and absolutely in fear. I've said that I wouldn't kill you, so of course, I won't. Duan Lingtian cast a disgusted look at Wei Angqing and thought to himself that had it not been for the fact that this fellow still was of use to him, he would not have spared his life. Upon hearing Duan Lingtian's words, Wei Angqing heaved a sigh of relief. Although he could guess that Duan Lingtian might use him to do something, he did not think much about it. To him, he was fine with it as long as he was able to exist. As long he could live, he was willing to do anything. For when a person was dead, he would lose everything and vanish from this world completely, ceasing to exist without leaving a trace. The Nine Sect Alliance's district headquarters covered a large region of Han River City's northern area. This area was further divided into nine districts, each district being the operation point of the nine great sects of the Nine Sect Alliances in Han River City. When Duan Lingtian arrived at the great entrance of the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters, he was immediately blocked. 
The grand entrance of the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters was brightly illuminated by lights. At each side of the door stood nine people, making it a total of eighteen people. Right now, one of them was scrutinizing Duan Lingtian and asking him with a frown, Who are you? Why are you here at our Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters at such a late hour? I'm a disciple from the Moon Illumination Sect, Duan Lingtian answered. Now that he had come to the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters, of course, he would need to reveal his sect to them. Otherwise, he could not enter at all. The Moon Illumination Sect. When Wiang Ching, who was hoisted in his grip, heard his words, shock filled his face right away. Now, he finally learned about Duan Lingtian's identity. So, it turned out that he was from the Moon Illumination Sect. However, it was a little too late for him now. You're from the Moon Illumination Sect. When the middle-aged man, who was frowning when he interrogated Duan Lingtian, heard him, his frown eased up right away before he turned to two other men among the 18 people. Lu Hai, Lu Yu, since he claims that he's from your Moon Illumination Sect, I'll leave him to you to check his identity. The two men, whose names were Lu Hai and Lu Yu one young while the other was middle-aged nodded their heads right away and walked up to Duan Lingtian. Looking at Duan Lingtian, Lu Yu asked politely, You said that you're a disciple from our Moon Illumination Sect. Do you have the order token of the sect? Despite Duan Lingtian appearing very young, Lu Yu was someone who had made a living wandering around the world for many years. He could feel that Duan Lingtian's presence was extraordinary. Even if he was a disciple of the Moon Illumination Sect, he must not be an ordinary one. Yes. Duan Lingtian nodded and at the same time, he took out an order token to pass to Lu Yu. It was a personal token of an outer court disciple of the Moon Illumination Sect. After Lu Yu had checked the order token, he returned it to Duan Lingtian and asked in surprise, it's the correct order token but, you're an outer court disciple. Casually nudging Wiang Qing aside as though he had just thrown away trash, Duan Lingtian clasped his hands together to greet Lu Yu and Lu Hai, I'm Duan Lingtian. Good day to you, senior brother Lu Yu and senior brother Lu Hai. From their order tokens hanging by their waists, he could tell that they were both inner court disciples of the Moon Illumination Sect. However, the instant Duan Lingtian opened his mouth, Lu Yu and Lu Hai were instantly stunned into bafflement. Duan Lingtian, the outer court disciple of the Moon Illumination Sect. Right at that second, the other 16 men had also paid close attention to Duan Lingtian, as though he had something that attracted them. What's the matter? Duan Lingtian was taken aback as well. Why you read Duan Lingtian? Precisely at this point, Wiang Qing who was casually nudged onto the floor also stared at him as though he had just seen a ghost. It was as if he had just gotten to know Duan Lingtian. You know me too. Upon hearing Wiang Qing's words, Duan Lingtian frowned straight away. Was he that famous? J Jr. Brother Duan, don't you know that your name has spread out to almost the entire Nine Sect Alliance's district? Liu Yu finally returned to his senses. After he heard Duan Lingtian responding to Wiang Qing, he could not help but smile wryly. My name has spread out to almost the entire Nine Sect Alliance's district. Duan Lingtian was dumbfounded. After you killed and replaced Feng Fan who was ranked 99th on the Earth rankings not long after you entered the sect, your fame started to spread out in the Nine Sect Alliance's district, Liu Yu mused. Then, you continued to defeat He Zheng who ranked 66th on the Earth rankings again and straight away took his spot in the Earth rankings. This has even taken the entire Nine Sect Alliance's district by surprise. Right now, other than those who are in extremely secluded areas and those who are completely not alert about the latest news, basically nobody in the Nine Sect Alliance's district has never heard of you before, Liu Yu added. Duan Lingtian was hit by a pang of realization. In the end, it was still related to the Earth rankings. When he thought of this, he finally understood something. As far as he knew, the Earth Rankings was a ranking chart in the entire Nine Sect Alliance's district that took all of the most outstanding powerhouses who were at the peak of the mortal shedding stage in the district into account. Now that he was linked to the Earth Rankings, it was not strange that his identity was spread out to the entire Nine Sect Alliance's district. At first, the reason Duan Lingtian had no idea about this was that he had never thought about it from this point of view before. Now, he realized that he had somehow become somebody who was well known in the entire Nine Sect Alliance's district unknowingly. Although those who were ranked on the Earth rankings were merely mortal shedding stage martial or Deo cultivators, all of them were powerhouses who stood at the peak of the mortal shedding stage. 
What's more important is that you're only a perfection mortal shedding stage, junior brother Duan. There's never been such case whereby a perfection mortal shedding stage martial cultivator grabbed the 66th spot in history ever since the Earth rankings was created, Lu Hai exclaimed. He's Duan Ling Tian. He looks really young. I heard that he's only 35 years old. 35 years old and he's already ranked 66th on the Earth rankings. His strength and innate talent are indeed formidable. I hear that he's only a perfection mortal shedding stage martial cultivator. Isn't it impossible? I also feel that it's improbable. It's most likely some hoax created by people from the Moon Illumination sect with the intention to attract attention to themselves. The other 16 middle-aged and young men, who were guarding the great entrance of the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters, buried their heads in a discussion. From their words, all of them did not believe that Duan Ling Tian was able to become 66th on the Earth rankings with his mere cultivation base of perfection mortal shedding stage. I heard that this Duan Ling Tian was even taken in by the Moon Illumination sex elder Bai Li Hong as a disciple on behalf of his teacher to become his junior brother. This is what's truly shocking. This news must be true since it's spread out by the Moon Illumination sect. That's right. Who dare to spread fake news when it concerns elder Bai Li Hong? Casting everything else aside, just this alone is reason enough for anybody not to go against Duan Ling Tian. If we go against him, it's equivalent to going against Elder Bai Li Hong. When the discussion among the 16 people reached this point dread could be seen in their eyes when they looked at Duan Ling Tian again. As for Wiang Qing who was sitting down on the ground after being pushed by Duan Ling Tian, after he knew the identity of the person he wanted to take advantage of, he was also terrified to his core. Duan Ling Tian was a powerhouse ranked 66th in the Earth rankings and he was also an outstanding person in the outer court of the Moon Illumination sect. If that was it, that might have been alright. However, what sent chills down his heart was none other than Duan Ling Tian's identity. Duan Ling Tian was the junior brother acknowledged by the Three Star Saint Inscription Master, Bai Li Hong, from the Moon Illumination sect. No wonder? It's no wonder that there are so many three-star saint inscriptions on his saint weapon. As Bai Li Hong's junior brother, of course, he won't lack three-star saint inscriptions. At this moment, Wang Qing finally was able to piece the puzzles together. However, his comprehension came too late now. Junior brother Duan, who is this? After politely exchanging some words, Liu Yu took a glance at Wang Qing who was sitting on the ground and asked Duan Ling Tian with a puzzled look. Chapter 1499, Elder Hui. Eh? Isn't this Wiang Qing, the great young master from the Wiang clan? Right at that moment, one of the 16 people recognized Wiang Qing, the great young master from the Wiang clan? At once, everybody's gaze, except for Duan Ling Tian's, landed on Wiang Qing, making him the limelight. Had it been earlier, when his identity was still flashy, Wiang Qing would have been very proud and honored for being noticed by the Nine Sect Alliance in such a way. However, today, he had his head drooping down like a disowned dog as he itched to dig a hole on the ground to bury himself. The great young master from the Wiang clan. Upon hearing the identity of the person sitting on the ground miserably, although Lu Yu and Lu Hai were taken by surprise, they were not very astonished by this. As a person from a seventh-rate force, of course, they would not look up to people from mere eighth-rate clans. Junior brother Duan, you and him, however, the two of them were still curious about the relationship between Duan Ling Tian and the great young master of the Wiang clan. This was because earlier, they had noticed that this great young master of the Wiang clan was lifted by Duan Ling Tian with just one hand when he came. It was obvious that the two of them were not friends. Now, the two of them looked at Wiang Qing with an unfriendly gaze too. Unless they had some unresolved dispute among themselves, the Moon Illumination sect disciples usually were unanimous in how they treated outsiders. Therefore, when they realized that Wiang Qing might have gone against Duan Ling Tian, Liu Yu and Liu Hai instantly were filled with hostility against him. Noticing the two unfriendly looks, Wiang Qing was so terrified that his body started to tremble violently. The matter between him and I can't be summarized by words in just two or three sentences. Two senior brothers, the reason I came to the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters at this late an hour is to find Elder Hui. After shooting an indifferent glance at Wiang Qing, Duan Ling Tian looked at Liu Yu and Liu Hai in a friendly manner, completely different from how he looked at the latter. Upon hearing that, Liu Yu quickly replied, So, you're actually here to find Elder Hui. I'll bring you in then. 
Elder Hui was one of the Moon Illumination Sex persons in charge of the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. Among the three Moon Illumination Sect high officials in the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters, he could be deemed as the second most powerful person. Besides that, Everybody in the Moon Illumination Sect knew that as a two-star saint inscription master in the Moon Illumination Sect, Elder Hui usually had a good relationship with Bai Li Hong, the three-star saint inscription master in the Moon Illumination Sect. He had even told the outside world that Bai Li Hong was like a teacher or older brother to him. Hence, in Liu Yu's opinion, even if Elder Hui was resting or in the midst of cultivating now, he would not deny Duan Ling Tian's visit. Duan Lingtian was Elder Bai Li Hong's junior brother after all. Thank you, Elder Lu Yu, Duan Lingtian expressed his gratitude. With a raise of his hand, he lifted Wiang Ching again and followed Lu Yu into the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. Before he left, he politely bid farewell to Lu Hai. With his current identity and background, it's really rare that junior brother Duan Lingtian would still be so polite in front of me, an ordinary inner court disciple. Watching Duan Lingtian's disappearing silhouette, emotions could be seen in Lu Hai's eyes. In his opinion, this purple-clad young man was destined to soar into the sky if he did not die halfway. In the future, if he continued to stay in the Moon Illumination Sect, he would most likely become the next sect leader. Now that such a magnanimous person had been so polite to him, how could he not be overwhelmed with emotions? It looks like the great young master of the Wiang clan is going to be doomed now. There are so many people around, so why did he dare to pick a fight with Duan Lingtian? Many people whispered at the grand entrance of the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. That's right, let alone the great young master of the Wiang clan, I think even the Wiang clan leader would never dare to pick any trouble with Duan Lingtian no matter how much guts he has. Many people nodded their heads in agreement. However, that great young master of the Wiang clan must have heard about Duan Lingtian before, hasn't he? Why does he still dare to pick a fight with Duan Lingtian? You know nothing about this at all, do you? Tisk, as though you do. Well, even though I have no idea either, I can see that the great young master of the Wiang clan was obviously gripped by panic when Duan Lingtian announced his own name just now. It's apparent that he didn't know about Duan Lingtian's identity before this. You even noticed this? Wow, are you born in the year of the eagle? How can your eyes be so sharp? If that's true, Duan Lingtian is dressing up as the pig to catch the tiger. It looks like this time, the Wiang clan has really hit a hard stone and is going to be doomed soon. The 16 people, other than Lu Hai, exchanged glances with each other and could see the pity in each other's eyes. It was the pity they had toward the Wiang clan. Oof. Junior brother Duan is someone with such a good temper. If it wasn't for that great young master of the Wiang clan who offended him first, he would have never raised such a big issue about this. Even though Lu Hai did not spend a long time with Duan Lingtian, he could discern his temperament well. It was clear that he was definitely not a dandy person who would turn arrogant and presumptuous the moment he had some significant ability. At the other side, Duan Lingtian carried Wiang Qing and followed Lu Yu to the operation point of the Moon Illumination Sect in the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. The operation point of the Moon Illumination Sect was a mansion that covered a spacious area. Although it was not as huge as the Wiang clan's mansion, it was still quite huge. Along the way, Duan Lingtian remembered the other 16 people he had seen at the great entrance of the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters. Curious, he asked, Senior Brother Lu Yu, are those people who are on duty outside with Senior Brother Lu Hai and you from the other eight great sects? That's right. Lu Yu nodded. Including Lu Hai and I, there are a total of 18 people on duty at the great entrance of the Alliance's headquarters. Two members from the nine great sects will be on duty. It turned out to be Lu Hai's and my turn to be on duty these few days. Duan Lingtian nodded. It was just as he was expected with not much difference. Now that you've shown yourself in front of the people from those eight great sects, I'm afraid the entire Han River City will know that you're here after tomorrow. By that time, you'll need to be mentally prepared, Lu Yu reminded as though he was reminded about something. Mentally prepared. Duan Lingtian was stunned. What for? To be mentally prepared against those mortal shedding stage marshal or deo cultivators who want to challenge you so that they can replace you as 66th on the earth rankings, of course, Lu Yu replied, the match where you killed Feng Fan and replaced him as 99th on the earth rankings before this was still okay as that was a death duel after all. It was impossible for Feng Fan to let you win. However, as for the duel between you and He Zhong, 
many people suspected that it was He Zhong who intentionally let you win. When Liu Yu reached the end of his sentence, he looked at Duan Lingtian. After noticing that he was not angry, he breathed a sigh of relief to himself. Intentionally let me win, Duan Lingtian was dumbfounded before he burst out laughing. And all of this is because both He Zhong and I are Moon Illumination Sect disciples, so he intentionally let me win, not just because of that. Liu Yu shook his head. Right now, many people are spreading rumors, saying that He Zhong fears the pressure from Elder Bai Li Hong and that was why he intentionally lost to you and was willing to become your stepping stone. Besides that, very few people believe that you're actually just a perfection mortal shedding stage martial cultivator. They really are quite imaginative. Duan Lingtian smiled nonchalantly as though he was not at all concerned about what those people thought. What a joke? Right now, Duan Lingtian had already made a breakthrough to the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage. He could even easily crush the strongest person on the earth rankings now, let alone the challengers from mortal shedding stage martial or Deo cultivators who tried to replace him. No matter how strong the earth rankings powerhouses were, the most they could defeat was an early Saint Rudiment stage martial or Deo cultivator and the strongest power that they could possess was equivalent to an intermediate Saint Rudiment stage martial or Deo cultivator. However, Duan Lingtian's current state of strength now was enough to crush a mastery Saint Rudiment stage cultivator. Even if he faced an ordinary perfection Saint Rudiment stage, he also stood a chance of winning against them too. Of course, if he faced with a perfection Saint Rudiment stage powerhouse like Wiang Shan who already had half his foot in the paramount Saint Rudiment stage, he had no chance of winning at all if he did not use his three-star offensive Deo Talisman. Of course, all of that was just temporary. Once Duan Lingtian had made further progress and entered the Mastery Saint Rudiment stage along with the Mastery of the True Energy Consolidated Weapon or if he fully cultivated the Saint Grade Martial Tactic in the Colossal Arrow Light Arrow to its highest state, he might just be able to have an honorable duel with a Perfection Mortal Shedding Stage powerhouse like Wei Ang Shan. Junior Brother Duan, I'm admiring you more and more now, Liu Yu sighed emotionally, if I were in your shoes instead and heard these rumors, I'd not have been able to be as calm as you now. Duan Lingtian shook his head with a smile but did not explain anything further. He had gone through two reincarnations, so he had already long thought nothing about these rumors. It was just natural for him to be unconcerned by them. Besides, he did not feel guilty at all. With a jolt in his heart, Duan Lingtian thought to himself, I'd like to see just how many of these single-minded people want to challenge me. If Liu Yu had known that Duan Lingtian's cultivation base was already on the intermediate Saint Rudiment stage now, and if he knew what Duan Lingtian was thinking about now, he would definitely stand in silent tribute for the mortal shedding stage marshal and Deo cultivators who would come to challenge Duan Lingtian after hearing that he was in Han River City. Wei Angqing, who was being lifted up by Duan Lingtian, on the other hand, was startled as he kept thinking and praying that he would never go back on his word and kill him. His only thought now was to hope for survival. As predicted, when Liu Yu brought Duan Lingtian to the big courtyard that Elder Hui was residing in, Elder Hui had instantly come out personally to invite him to enter his courtyard the moment he heard about his arrival. Haha. <laughs> Junior brother Duan, I'm finally able to meet you? If it weren't for the fact that I can't leave here for now, I'd have long gone back to the sect to see you. You talented genius whom senior brother Bai Li has taken as his junior brother. When Elder Hui welcomed Duan Lingtian into his big courtyard, he chuckled and said enthusiastically. Elder Hui's full name was Dong Hui. He was an old man with white hair and a ruddy complexion. He appeared to be very benevolent, gentle, and amiable. Liu Yu who had followed Duan Lingtian was stunned since a while ago. Was this old man who had a pleasing, graceful expression really Elder Hui? In fact, although Elder Hui did not have a bad temper, he was usually very aloof in the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters and rarely interacted with other people. Yet, right now, he seemed to have transformed into another person in front of Duan Lingtian. Chapter 1500, A Trade with the Wiang Clan At that moment, Liu Yu also completely understood that the rumors were indeed true. The relationship between Elder Hui and Elder Bali Li was indeed unordinary. Elder Hui, I'll take my leave first. Since he had already brought Duan Lingtian over, of course, Liu Yu sensibly took his leave. All right. Dong Hui merely nodded his head nonchalantly as he faced Liu Yu. Then, Liu Yu bade his goodbye to Duan Lingtian. Thank you for showing me the road, senior brother Liu Yu. 
After Duan Lingtian had expressed his gratitude and watched Liu Yu left, he proceeded to look at Dong Hui before clasping his hands together in front of his chest with a smile. I'm Duan Lingtian. Good evening, Elder Hui. What? Don't you like me calling you junior brother? Or do you think that I'm not worthy enough to be your senior brother? Upon hearing how Duan Lingtian greeted him, Dong Hui demanded with a gloomy face. Senior brother Hui. Duan Lingtian smiled wryly. Although he could see that Dong Hui had intentionally put on a gloomy face, he could only go along with the other party and at the same time, he realized that the relationship between Dong Hui and Bai Li Hong was much closer than his senior brother Bai Li Hong had described. Great. When Dong Hui heard Duan Lingtian change his way of addressing him, a bright smile appeared on his face right away. He is. Soon, Dong Hui turned his gaze towards Wei Ching who was thrown to the side. He could faintly guess that the reason Duan Lingtian had come to find him intentionally this time must be related to this person. He's Wiang Qing, the great young master of the Wiang clan, answered Duan Lingtian as he threw a nonchalant glance at Wiang Qing. Wiang clan? That Wiang clan from Han River City's eastern city. Dong Hui raised his brow and asked. That's the one, confirmed Duan Lingtian, nodding his head. What? Has he offended you, junior brother Duan? Dong Hui asked. If he really did just offend me, I wouldn't care much about it, but the problem is, he has actually partnered up with a perfection saint rudiment stage elder from the Wiang clan to kill me. When Duan Lingtian reached the end of the sentence, a murderous gleam could be seen in his eyes. What? When Dong Hui heard Duan Lingtian, his face turned dark right away. As he looked at Wiang Qing once again, a killing intent shone from his eyes. In his heart, he had already long regarded Bai Li Hong as his teacher in the Saint Inscription Dao. When he found out that Bai Li Hong had taken a young man as a junior brother, his admiration for Bai Li Hong extended to this young man and he regarded this person as his own junior brother even though he had never seen this young man before. He had imagined many different situations as to how he would meet with that junior brother, but it had never crossed his mind that the situation would turn out to be like this when they met for real. If something happened to Duan Lingtian in Han River City, how would he be able to face senior brother Bai Li Hong? Because of this, Dong Hui was enraged, fully enraged. When Wiang Qing sensed the murderous gleam from Dong Hui, he was so terrified that his body trembled. Completely scared out of his wits, he turned to Duan Lingtian in fear and trepidation. Duan Lingtian? You said that you wouldn't kill me? You promised that you wouldn't kill me? You can't go back on your words like that. Huh. Upon hearing Wiang Qing's words, Dong Hui frowned and looked at Duan Lingtian in confusion. He did not understand why would Duan Lingtian be so lenient towards someone who wanted to kill him. The words that I've said before is final. Why are you panicking so much? Duan Lingtian snorted coldly, terrorizing Wiang Qing so much that he instantly shut his mouth up. However, I have a condition not to kill you. The condition is that you must go along with my plan obediently and never ever try to play tricks. Duan Lingtian continued nonchalantly. I'll go along with your plan. I'll never play any tricks. Wiang Qing hastily responded as though he feared that Duan Lingtian would regret his decision if he was late in responding. Tell me, who was that old man who accompanied you to kill me? With his strength, he must be an elder of the Wiang clan. I'm pretty certain about that, asked Duan Lingtian, glancing at Wiang Qing. He's called Wiang Shan and he's the second elder of our Wiang clan. Wiang Qing did not dare to hesitate and instantly replied. Did he come under your father's orders or were you the one who instigated him? Duan Lingtian asked again. It's not my father's order. Wiang Qing shook his head. Then, you were the one who instigated him. A cold brilliance flashed across Duan Lingtian's eyes as he asked in a deep voice. No, no. When Wiang Qing caught the cold brilliance across Duan Lingtian's eyes, he was shocked and shook his head. I didn't instigate him? I've absolutely never instigated him at all. It's him? It's him who heard about you and after knowing that you have a saint weapon that is carved with three star saint inscriptions on it, he was instantly overcome with the plan of wanting to kill you to snatch the treasure, Wiang Qing explained, placing all the blame on Wiang Shan who was already dead. Had Wiang Shan heard his false words in the nether world, one would wonder whether he would be so pissed that he would throw blood up, or if he would keep his silence and regret agreeing to Wiang Qing to make a move on Duan Lingtian. Of course, Duan Lingtian did not believe Wiang Qing. However, this was not important to him at all now. What huge balls your Wiang clan possesses. 
After Dong Hui who stood beside him heard Wei Angqing's words, his anger flared up right away. How dare you even have the thought to kill our Moon Illumination sect disciple? It looks like your Wei Ang clan has been living in peace for too long now, do you really think that Han River City will be turned upside down if your Wei Ang clan is gone? Junior Brother Duan, you promised that you won't kill him but I, your senior brother, have never made any promise at all. In my opinion, since he belongs to that Weang clan and since that clan dares to trample on our prestige, there's no need for us to spare his life at all. Although Dong Hui itched to just kill Weang Ching in just a slap, he still respected Duan Ling Tian and did not make his move right away. No, you can't kill me. Before Duan Ling Tian opened his mouth, Weang Ching was already struck with panic. That was right. Duan Ling Tian had said that he would not kill him, but he had not said that he would not let others kill him. Duan Ling Tian, since you've already promised that you won't kill me, there's no doubt that this also means that you can't just let others kill me. This has nothing to do with me at all. Absolutely nothing to do with me. Everything happened because of that Weang Shan. It was him who turned greedy for your saint weapon. It was him who wanted to kill you and snatch away your saint weapon. Pale-faced, Weang Ching explained with all his might. After throwing a nasty glance at Weang Ching, Duan Ling Tian did not bother to look at him anymore. Instead, he turned to Dong Hui and asked solemnly, Senior Brother Hui, it doesn't matter to me whether we spare his life or not. However, I want to ask you one thing. Can we use this to wipe out the Weang clan entirely? Upon hearing that, Dong Hui turned silent instead. After a long while, he finally shook his head. Most likely not. Even if the sect helps you with all they have, they can only make those related to this matter pay. Wiping out the entire Weang clan doesn't seem possible. After all, no matter what, the Weang clan is still a top 8th rated force in Han River City. Besides that, they also have some collaboration with our 9 sect alliances. Wiping the Weang clan will definitely cause the other 8 great sects to suffer quite a huge damage, so I'm sure they will never agree to this at all, Dong Hui explained. I actually kinda guessed so too. Duan Ling Tian smiled before he added, Therefore, I don't plan to kill him. I plan to use him and use this to make a trade with the Weang clan. He emphasized the word trade particularly. Dong Hui was taken aback. After a while, he finally realized what Duan Ling Tian meant by trade. Without a doubt, this meant that he wanted to extort from the Weang clan. This isn't hard. Dong Hui nodded and at the same time, he said apologetically, I'm sorry, junior brother Duan for not being able to help you take your revenge. In his opinion, not being able to wipe out the Weang clan was equal to not being to avenge Duan Ling Tian and not being able to avenge Bai Li Hong who was behind Duan Ling Tian. Hence, his heart was filled with apology. Senior brother Hui, how can you say that you didn't help me to take my revenge? I still need you to help me strike a deal with the Weang clan later on. Duan Ling Tian beamed. Don't worry, junior brother Duan. I'll make sure everything is settled properly, Dong Hui pledged with all sincerity and seriousness. Early morning the next day, clan leader Weang Ba flew into a great rage in the Weang clan residence. What? Didn't you find that unfilial son? Looking at Weang Ji, Weang Ba asked with a grave expression, Don't tell me that you've actually helped to hide him for the sake of the second elder. Clan leader, even if I have ten balls, I'd never dare go against you. Upon hearing Weang Ba's words, Weang Ji had the greatest shock of his life and he immediately smiled wryly. When Weang Ba heard his answer, his face eased up a little. He was merely testing Weang Ji just now. He still believed in Weang Ji the steward as he had never once disobeyed his order before. Father, what should we do now? Are we still going? Weang Ruo who was by Weang Ba's side asked. Go? Of course, we'll go. Weang Ba gritted his teeth. If I see that unfilial son somewhere. I'm gonna skin him alive. Just as Weang Ba was about to bring Weang Ruo and the large gift that he had prepared to the inn that Duan Ling Tian stayed at to apologize to him, an anxious and panic voice resonated from the distance. Clan leader? Something bad has happened. Something bad has happened. The bearer of news was one of the generals of the Weang clan. To be more precise, he was the guard who patrolled the great entrance of the Weang clan. What is it that's so pressing? Weang Ba was originally still fuming with rage and now that the guard had suddenly created such a scene, oil seemed to have poured upon his fire with no hint of pleasantness from him. Clan leader, it's the great young master. 
Great young master H has, the guard quivered and just as he opened his mouth, he was instantly interrupted by Wiang Bia before he could finish his words. What did you say? That unfilial son? Do you have news about that unfilial son? Where is he? The moment Wiang Ba's words left his mouth, he appeared in front of the guard like a gust of wind before demanding with a glum face. Seeing how the clan leader who usually held himself aloof appeared in front of him just a foot away just like that, this Wiang clan's guard immediately felt suffocated. The majestic prestige of Wiang Bia had given him an inexplicable sense of pressure. Clan leader, I think it's better to let him talk properly. At this second, Wiang Chi stepped out and told Wiang Bia before signaling to the guard to move a few steps back, just say it directly if you have anything to say. There's no need to panic. Yes, yes. The guard took a deep breath and hung his head down. Not daring to look Wiang Bia in the eye, he replied speedily as though he was reciting a passage. Clan leader, somebody from the Nine Sect Alliance's headquarters came to pass a message just now. He told you to go to their place to bring the great young master back.